When you were a little kid, what did you want to be? Oh, when I was a little kid, uh, you know, in the early to mid-1960s, uh, the coolest thing to be was an astronaut. Everybody wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to, I wanted to be an astronaut. Absolutely. Interestingly enough, I always wanted to be a teacher. Unlike some children who want to be princesses or who want to be uh, railroad engineers or who like my own children who want to be chefs and one of my daughters who wants to be a marine biologist and work with sharks, truly. Uh, I always wanted to be a teacher. When I was a little kid, I think I wanted to be a pilot. Uh, and then I realized that involved a lot of like math and science. And then, then there was the guitar hero phase where I was going to be a rock star. I, I probably never took that seriously, but that's what I wanted. When I was a little kid, there were a few things I wanted to be. A dancer, but definitely have two left feet, so that wasn't a pl plausible option. Um, a baker, but all I can make is Christmas cookies. <laughs> and a singer, definitely wanted to, you know, rock out and sing. How did you get to your current profession? I knew that the faculty at that time in, in Marist was uh, going through a number of changes uh, with the communication major. The curriculum was being redesigned. And, and so I uh, offered, shall we say, a couple of suggestions about how some of the internship uh, program uh, could be reconstructed or, or you know, improved or renovated. I had a couple of uh, meetings with the dean at that time, and Dean Lumetti, Guy Lumetti, and uh, made a couple of proposals, and I, 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 you know, in general terms, the idea was accepted to, to create a, a full-time position to essentially modernize the, the internship program. Um, I had some wonderful teachers when I was growing up, and I had actually at first thought I was going to be an elementary school teacher. I had some great teachers when I was in, in uh, junior high and elementary school, uh, but when I got to college I realized that perhaps I wasn't so suited for that, and so I actually switched my major to journalism, um, and then realized that I could actually have the best of both worlds. I could do journalism as a career for a little while and then go back and be a be a teacher like I always thought I was going to and be a journalism professor so I could write which I loved to do and read like I love to do and and work with with people who love to do the same things and and be in this wonderful learning environment for the rest of my life which is I mean what more could you ask for you know my junior year AP English teacher in high school said you're a good writer and encouraged me and I became the editor of our literary magazine mm -hmm. And then I went to college, and I was an English major, and then worked for the um, student newspaper, the entertainment magazine at the student newspaper. And uh, right before I went to study abroad, the chair of our department said, oh, you should take this course when you come back with this guy who's from the Washington Post. It'd be really interesting. I mean, we didn't have a journalism major, but I was already getting sick of being an English major. Um, so... I took that class, and I took a couple more classes, changed my concentration to nonfiction writing. It was actually nonfiction creative writing. Um, and then when I graduated, I went to journalism school and got a job in a magazine. Um, liked the magazine, but did not like my job. They didn't know what to do with me. Got bored, threw resumes out to every community college I thought I could commute to on my lunch hour. Adjuncted as a professor for a year, got a full-time job. They pushed me into the PhD program two one-year gigs later, here I am. I only recently realized that I really want to be a writer. Um, I just kind of realized that writing has been a part of my life forever. I've been writing anything from poetry to songs, um, essays, really anything, um, as long as I can remember. And 
Um, you know, so now I try to write as much as possible and to really hone my craft. I'm an editor at um, the school newspaper, The Circle. I did a blog um, for my capping project as well as an online portfolio. And um, I don't know how it's going to work out after graduation, but that's where I'm at. I just really want to be a writer.